Hello everyone, my name is Josephine from Business Accounting of Petra Christian University. Today we are going to present our paper entitled The Impact of Merger and Acquisition on Investor Reaction in Technology Sector. The presenters of this paper are Josephine Kurnia and Gita and Angeline as the representative of Juniarty as the first author of this paper. Nowadays, technology sector are continuously developing to merger and acquisition activities. However, there are fewer studies regarding investor reaction in this sector, especially in Asia. Therefore, the technology sector in Asia is chosen as the main focus of this study. Previously, the writer found the M&A effect in investor reaction. However, there were contradictory results between the positive and negative impacts. Therefore, this study aims to find empirical evidence regarding investor reaction on merger and acquisition that was conducted on firms from the technology sector in the short term. The signaling theory is used to explain the investor response towards the merger and acquisition. Signaling theory explains how an incomplete and asymmetrical information is responded by the decision maker or investor. Based on signaling theory, the investor will give a positive reaction towards the acquired firm that does merger and acquisition transaction. As the independent variable, merger and acquisition are measured using the dummy variable where the firm that conducts M&A transactions will be given the value of one, whereas the firm that does not conduct M&A transactions will be given the value of zero. As a dependent variable, investor reaction is measured using cumulative abnormal return or CAR, which is obtained by adding all abnormal return received by the company on the event window 10 days before and 10 days after, as well as one day before and one day after the announcement or event day. There are three control variables used in this study, which are market capitalization, level of competitiveness, and firm age. Market capitalization is measured by the number of the firm's share of standing multiplied by its market price per share. Level of competitiveness is measured using Hervindal Hirschman Index, or HHI. HHI is measured by the sum of the squared market share of each firm. Firm age is measured by calculating the years of the acquired firm has gone IPO until the event date. Data collection. In this study, purposes sampling is used to obtain the sample. Therefore, the sample used are companies in the information technology sector according to the Global Industry Classification Standard or GICS in Asia that have merger and acquisition transactions from 2015 to 2019. There are 228 companies that have complete data. The control sample used in this study is companies that do not conduct M&A transactions in the 2015-2019 period with comparable firm size in the same industry group. Thus, the final number of control sample with complete data is 103 companies. Therefore, the sample used in this study is 331 observations. Data analysis. The classical assumption test was conducted, which is the heteroscedasticity test, normality test, and multicollinearity test on the sample used. Based on the test results, the data analysis method used in the study is the ordinary least square or OLS method. The next part of the, this presentation will be presented by Angeline. Thank you, Yosefin. For the next part, in the hypothesis testing table, the significant and positive effect between M&A on investor reaction can be seen in the longer event window used only. However, on the counter variable, it can be seen that only market capitalization has a significant and negative effect on investor reaction on the shorter event window used, whereas the level of competitiveness and from each effect investor reaction is significantly in both of the event windows. As shown in the table before, it can be seen that the measure and acquisition have a significant and positive effect on investor reaction in the short term on the longer even window use, which means that hypothesis 1 is accepted. The positive effect on CAR with the even window 10 days before and 10 days after the announcement date show that the even window use can capture the effect of the MNA announcement accurately and, pay, and it will be seen that the announcement is reflected on the stock price. This also shows that the merchant acquisition could convert the company share had very well after the announcement. This finding is in line with signaling theory and the consistent with several previous research with a positive and significant effect on investor reaction 
to measure an acquisition in the short terms. Market capitalization has a negative effect on investor reaction on the shorter even window use. This shows that the higher the market capitalization is, then the investor reaction could be lower. There is a significant relationship between CAR and the level of competitiveness as well as the firm age. Research limitation. The firm selected as a sample in the study is restricted to the public companies due to the availability of the data on the Bloomberg and Yahoo Finance. Conclusion, the results show that the measure and acquisition have positive and statistically significant effect on investor reaction in the short term. Market capitalization is shown to have a significant effect on investor reaction. However, the level of competitiveness and firm age show an insignificant result. The study contributed to the previous director related to the investor reaction, especially in the technology sector, as the study can give insight to the other researchers regarding the investor reaction after the acquiring firm announced the major and acquisition transactions. For the study, input private firms as a sample. Thank you for your attention. Have a good day.